Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, hey yo man, we got um, look, 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 we got look, we got folks turning their back on your boy Diddy. All right, uh, we got folks turning their back on Diddy, man. Uh, but 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 there's one guy that won't turn their back on Diddy, man. And we gonna talk about him in a second. All right, um, uh, we also got uh, who else we got over here on deck, man? We got folks cooperating with the feds. We done told you a little bit about that yesterday, man. Um, uh, Stevie J wanting to fight Fifty, man, and Fifty's response. And we also got um, uh, yo, Stevie J taking you into what a diddy party look like we're gonna show you that in a second man um uh again thanks for tuning in to celeb source hey yo if this is your first time to the channel man be sure to hit the like button if you feel any part of the content all right i um, mean you crack a smile or anything like that man go on and hit it with hit us with a like man you know what i'm saying because we do the same thing every day yo check this out though man let's get right to it listen uh we don't tell you we don't tell you yesterday right that um <laughs> look look they've been eyeing j-lo okay now Ashton Kutcher's behind is on the chopping block potentially. Okay, every single look, every single one of Diddy's friends are in the car looking out the window like they don't know, bro. Okay, and and for good reason. I mean, look, who wants to spend the next few months in court when you're when when you're so used to enjoying outside? Now uh, Ashton Kutcher been cool with the Diddler for about twenty years, but now, bro, ain't nowhere in sight. And and that's completely possible. Um, you know, for, like for, it's for, look, it's completely possible for people to move on. But there's at least 10 years of knowledge the feds might be interested in. You follow what I'm saying? Now, according to the Daily Mail, Ashton Kutcher has been missing from Puff, largely due to his wife, Mila Kunis. Okay? Daily Mail posted this. They said, they said, quote, regardless of Ashton's long history with the Diddler, he has distanced himself from Diddy since Cassie Ventura's lawsuit, and even more so in the wake of the new ones. Mila will not let Ashton be in any sort of contact. <laughs> he is expecting a subpoena as they have been good friends for 20 years. Close quote. Man, look, if they subpoena, bro, man, you think he gonna talk? Tell me, yo, post it in the comments below if you think Ashton Kutcher's gonna talk. Just, you can just put it in the comments, he gonna talk, <laughs> okay? Talk or no talk? All right, let, let me know what you thought, what you, what you thought. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. You follow what I'm saying, man? Meanwhile, while all this is going on, Diddy is out here just, look, Diddy is out here just recently spotted with Stevie J riding bikes on South Beach doing all the pre-prison activities that you would do if you had the resources and time and you was facing the kind of, you know what I'm saying, serious allegations that, that Diddy may be facing. Take a look at uh, 50 and, 50, my bad. <laughs> Take a look at uh, Stevie J and Diddy riding bikes <laughs> looking at the sunrise take a take a look at this joint real quick i hit y'all love what oh, the fuck <laughs> <laughs> oh ask me if he did it i love it love man <laughs> Yes, sir. Not what the fuck? Incredible. Incredible, man. Look, you got look, you have co-workers that won't even speak to your ass. You know what I'm saying? More more or less high five you and bro is accused of trafficking women and children and drugging innocent people with underground tunnels. And he got a line of people waiting, waiting here near him to take selfies and cheering his behind on and whatnot. You follow what I'm saying? Ain't that crazy? You out here working your hardest. You show up to work on time, don't you? And, and look, you could have took that money, that, that time, couldn't you? But you didn't, because you ain't like these other ninjas out here. And if you pulled up on your bicycle, your co-workers would, would laugh you to, to tears. And this ninja is getting cheers and, and applause while he rides off with Stevie J into the sunrise. Look, do you know what your co-workers or friends would, would do to you if your big behind self got on a bike and leaned that joint up against the wall of the job? Look, and you ain't even been accused of touching no minors. You look, you asked nicely, and when she said no, you went home. And that ninja is getting applause and high fives and selfies. Ain't this a backwards behind planet? Me look, meanwhile, people like Freddie P was ready to crash all the way out from your boy Diddy. So look, Sauce had covered this on the backup channel. You know what I'm saying? Um, but but just in case you missed. What Sauce so eloquently covered, take a listen to what Freddie P had to say about um, having been uh, linked to the diddler. 
take a listen real quick. See you fall, and it be niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's this nigga puffing. And my main motherfucking reason why I really hate fucking life, dog. Like, people don't even understand. It take a lot to do this video. I don't even know I'm gonna release it. But I need to do some my sanity. I had to just break away and talk to myself real quick. But people don't know what a nigga been through. To be at, at your highest peak and have it snatched away from you because you don't want to kiss ass. And man, we all black people, man. Black people continue to step on each other and hold each other down. And that shit, that shit for people mental. I'm a nigga that'll run in there and blow your shit loose, bro. I don't give a fuck. You, do you really want to be in a situation where you make a man that mad, dog? Well, you take it from a man, family, where I gotta sell dope for 20 years and survive in these streets and still don't have a felony, my nigga. I don't have my, my freedom almost taken away from me several times, dog. You hear me? I'm trying to survive, my nigga. You can't go get no job. You just wanna be regular sometimes. You can't even go get a job. You walk in the job. Hey, it's Fanny B. Uh, what's up, boy? You gotta back up out of what the fuck? You can't even be a regular human no more after some shit like that. But he don't know nothing about that, cause he don't come from this shit. He don't come from this shit for real. Niggas like that don't come from this shit. Niggas like that don't think about all about hurting. And getting gain, 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 power, 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 power. Niggas gonna die horribly, man. You niggas gonna die horribly. Test the cancer something, man. God gonna get you niggas, man. Cause you fuck with God hard, man. You got a nigga like me don't even care about no money. I would've did way more for my city than even any one of these niggas did. Cause I'm from Liberty City, I'm from Old Town. Them niggas just shoot videos, though. Them niggas ain't never did shit for Gibson Park, William Park. Them niggas ain't never built no homes for the homeless. Them niggas ain't did nothing I would've did. Them niggas exploited my city, they exploited the culture. Y'all don't know what I'm just telling y'all, man. Be mindful, dawg. Appreciate what you what you got, man. But I ain't it's you're not God, bro. When God put you on a mission to change people's lives, you do what he asks you to do. And, and you'll be rewarded. Nigga at 900 million, nigga, you still at nine. Kanye done passed you. Jay done passed you. Cause they don't practice bad business like that. They ain't stepping on each other to get where they gotta go. Look at you, look at Jay-Z, nigga, Jay, Dane made millions, Bean made millions. All them niggas around them made real money, nigga. You ain't made a hundred, two hundred thousand with you, nigga. But you done made over 60, 70 million off, 70 million off us, nigga. And we ain't make two hundred thousand a piece off you, nigga. Listen, man. I just want to tell y'all, this music industry ain't what it seems. I got people in this music industry right now that won't fuck with me. And I was cool with them. They won't fuck with me because of that nigga. Because fucking with me, me and you won't fuck with that nigga. He take it personal. He want to shut doors. So they don't want to have nothing to do with that. And I don't blame him. I blame that nigga. When you go through what that nigga put, put a nigga through for the last 20 years, you get tired, bro. You just tired. You, 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 you come, you grow hate. It's like a cancer. It's like, nigga, what, 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 what type of nigga is you? I want to leave this here in case I ever fucking perish, my nigga. You could look back at this, dog. You die before me, dog. How you think I'm going to feel? You think I'm going to laugh? Or you think I'm going to cry? When you die, people pull the crap about you, dawg. This world gonna talk bad about you, bro. This world gonna exploit every bad thing, how you got every bad dollar. Your legacy is fucked, man. And you don't even go back and try to make it right, my nigga. Cause that shit not in you. Y'all niggas be worried about what's on you, not what's in you. That's the difference between everybody and y'all generation and my generation. That's the, the fuck generation, period. You niggas that's built for money only worry about what's on you. Why does it seem like his name out of all is villainized as being one of them dudes that just take, 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 take terrible business? Why does it seem like Diddy's name is the one? It's facts. The facts. You mm -hmm. got to look at it. 
Even Kanye made motherfucking Big Sean a millionaire. Yeah. Even Kanye made John Legend a millionaire. Jay Z lowest accomplishment is worth sixty five million dollars, and that's J Cole. He's a god. Talk about it. Yeah. You got Rihanna, who's a billionaire. Kanye, who's a billionaire. Like, Thanks. why you don't have one millionaire under your belt? Not one. Mm. You get what I'm saying? It's the facts, bro. You don't deal with 40, 50 artists, man. And, and you ain't. You the only one that made money. You the only one. You the only one that's still surviving. Jay-Z got a list of people up on there. Even fucking Beanie Siegel made money. Dane made money big. The whole chap made money. PD Crack, all them boys made money. Mm -hmm. Diddy the only one, bro, because he don't have no talent. His talent is robbing people. His talent wow. is picking out the best star. I can tell you now, he, he from Mount Vernon. So he can hear some shit that say, damn, you went through that? Boy, put that shit on track. Sell it to the people because of his face. And you know, he the gatekeeper. You get what I'm saying? Right. So he ate off that. He ate off having resources. He ate off being the one that can walk you through the dope. You don't have no talent though. Wow, you richer than the talent because you robbed the talent. Why your son got Mace motherfucking uh, polishing? This shit don't make no fucking sense. Why your mama got all polish? Mm. This shit don't make no sense. Why my son ain't got it? Mm. You get what I'm saying? Like it's just evident. Like he's the only one that practices bad business, and that's why that nigga can't touch a bill. Cause he he can't touch a billion. Cause ain't, he, it's gonna be hard to get the next hundred million. The world don't need you no more. You know what I'm saying? What I mean is, people used to need him to be seen with him. Now he's the parasite. He just cleans a pair. He's a hip hop parasite. So, yo, yo, yo. I want me a piece of cheesecake. <laughs> From you know where to get the cheesecake spot is at? No, Tom. Yeah. Yeah, and y'all can walk from here, get the cheesecake, see the city, enjoy the sights, would you? Fred, you all right? Fred, yeah, you all right? Fred, I'm good. This dude must be crazy. Sooner or later, we gonna trash. The word is funny, what cheesecake? If my cheesecake is in the least bit soft, or brittle, or not on point, your will go back. You know what Junior's is at? Yo, fam, Puffy just told us to go to the store in Brooklyn and bring him back a cheesecake and walk. We just want this shit, man, but we was just on the tip like you was trying to put us out there like a bitch or something like make us walk all the way to Brooklyn like, you know what I'm saying? I don't like, really care how that you took it or whatever you went through your mind it was a mission that had to be done. All this psychological, that's ego. So the ego's in your way. So the ego made the decision. You know what I'm saying? I'm, t I'm doing some, I'm going to get some cheesecake. If you got that much ego, go do your thing, man. Don't sit here and be talking about it, man. Be fly about it. Get your swag on walk that way. That way, do it. If you want to think about it, or if you ain't gonna walk that way, walk to Brooklyn and be happy. He jumped online and said, quote, Stop all your crying, being, and moaning. Hustle harder or get the F out of our way. No ego, just hustle. Love. End quote. Well, after P. Diddy said that, Freddie P. jumped back online and he responded to Diddy by saying the following. I don't want to be down with you niggas. I done seen what it was. All I said was go back and make it right. You can't do nothing for me, bro. I don't want nothing from that man, bro. That man can say, give me, I'll give you $2 million on my mama's soul. Everybody know me. That man can say, I'll give you $2 million right now to come sit with me. I don't want to, bro. You had 20 years, bro. All I ask is that you go make it right with my, with my group members, with Danny the King, with Day 26. Go, go help those people, bro. So I don't want nobody to get my message, mister. I see the little subliminal. Bro, don't do that, bro. Because, like, we just, we just gotta go through the history. Let's go. Loon, G Del, uh, Black Rob, uh, uh, Danny the Kane, five of those or four of those. I don't even got no disrespect to them because I never really watched the show. But I know RB and uh, Don and uh, I don't know them, but you know, I know of them because you know, clips and shit. So, ain't no disrespect, bro. Day 26. Why nobody ever signed again, bro? Nobody. So I'm just saying, if 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 if, if it's just me tripping and Oh, you just mad. If I'm just mad, bro, let's go to the facts. Let's look at the history. There's nobody ever been a millionaire. Nobody never got a second deal out of this man. And these people got talent, bro. Okay? I said what I said, bro. This ain't no beef. I don't got no beef. I got beef with the nigga. I'm hunting, man. I ain't got no beef with y'all, man. They mad with that truth, dog. One thing about the truth, dog. That shit hurt, bro. That shit hurt. Niggas like hustle harder, dark crying, bitch and moan. 
When, I, when them tears drop, every time a tear dropped on that video was from me doing something to somebody, bro. I'm a sucker for everything I ever did to him. Every time I ever stood over a nigga, every time I ran a nigga down, I'm a sucker for that, bro. Because I live for God, bro. And he, I had the only man thing I blamed you about was I had an opportunity not to go that route. You could have helped me not go that route. So when I wake up in sweats and tears, I wake up in my pain, bro, I feel like it's your fault because you could have saved me from that route. That's it. It ain't got you don't owe me nothing. I get offended, yeah. I think I see your kid spending money on shit. Yeah, I get offended, my nigga, because my kid ain't got that. You made a hundred million off. That's heavy stuff right there, man. Look, look, look. These, look. These, that brother said, these dudes is worried about what's on them and not what's in them. I said, man, that now that's a statement for the ages, man. The culture needs to hear that one, okay? Uh, look, look, a lot of people in the culture need to hear that. Don't be focused on what's on you. Be focused about what's in you. You follow what I'm saying, man? You like this? That's a terrible statement when you consider uh, the the diddler. Well, that's a very relevant statement if you consider the diddler. Please, please be focused about. Please be worried about what could potentially be in you. You see what I'm saying? I'm look. I'm shocked. At, look, we, after after we've heard about ten years of these kinds of allegations and stuff like that, anybody after the year, like you know what I'm saying, like anybody 2020 on up, linking up with bruh. Knowing how he get down, knowing what you've been hearing for the past two decades, you got to be down with the with the you know what I'm saying with the shenanigans, man. I mean, like everyone knows how the diddler gets down, so why would you possibly want to link up at this point? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Maybe it's me. Okay. Um. So let me let me let me go to my shout outs real quick. Do I have any shout outs on deck? I think I do. Uh, real quick, man. Sh shout out to who we had over here, man. Did I, did I have a good one, man? All right. Yesterday, when I asked y'all, sh sh look, should the planet be flooded or or flamed? Um, call look, call me, Danny said, flood Diddy's cave. <laughs> flood Diddy's cave. Yeah, 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 man. They said that they found underground tunnels or whatnot, which I guess technically could be like a cave. Goodness gracious, a cave? That's, that's, that's sick. Anyway, Tevin Ritchie said um, his BMI, uh, body mass index, I guess they talking about um, uh, Rod Wave. Oh, by the way, let me throw this out about Rod Wave. The arrest, according to the police, the arrests were wrong. They should not have arrested him because they said um, he was being charged with having a firearm as a convicted felon, even though he is not a convicted felon so apparently they had to pull the arrest back they let bro go okay just wants to give you a little bit of an update on that tevin ritchie said um rod waves bmi 56.5 25 to 29 is overweight and over and is obese and yeah your videos was funny when you stumbled over your words i felt better about reading with my finger then um hey look 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 tevin it wasn't my reading. It was reading the artist's writing. It's the, it wasn't, I know how, I've been knowing how to read, bro. I always read to people. You know what I'm saying? It's just when the artists start to write, they, they, they grammar and syntax, everything was just, it was just horrible. I can't even, there's no words to describe how artists write, okay? It, it, like you could tell the educational system failed them miserably. Anyway, my bad. Um, so, so here's the thing, man. Let's get right back to it, right, this bad boy. Listen, man. Uh, uh, back in November, right? The artist Cassie filed a lawsuit against your favorite artist, Diddy. <laughs> You're like, I thought Takashi Six Nine was my favorite artist. Look, there's no law that says you 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 have to have one favorite artist. Okay, I tell different students every day they're my favorite student. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> they like, but you just said that yesterday to them. I'm like, yeah, and. Anyway, Cassie filed a lawsuit against your favorite artist, Diddy. Bruh settled with her the next day for an undisclosed amount. Many believe it to be about for 30 million, okay? The joint reeked of hush money, um, at least in, from my standpoint, okay? At, at, at this point, I wouldn't be surprised if, um, you know what I'm saying, this person gave 5 million, this big wig gave 10 million, that celebrity gave 8 million, just to, you know what I'm saying, yo, just don't throw my name out there, whatever, okay? <laughs> Um, cause I mean, think about it. Do you really think if these allegations are true, you really think Puff was alone and all that? Yeah. You know I mean, if the feds came for Trump and the feds came for Epstein, you think they're going to spare Diddy and his peoples? Now it's being stated, right? That Cassie is cooperating with the feds and it looks like they're about to break bro stride and hold him down. Okay. According to TMZ, Cassie has been in talks with the feds for several weeks and, and the talks, um, According to, uh, like, uh, what is it, TMZ? The talks 
with the feds were before the raids on Diddy's estates. So I guess that's on some old like, yeah, and he'd be recording all kinds of people doing all kinds of crazy stuff. And maybe that's why they, you know, quickly rushed in. Hairy stuff, right? So I spoke with my peoples about that. They, they was like, yo, the settlement money that Cassie may have gotten, right, um, may have been to keep from going to a civil trial and run the risk of potentially being awarded more money at that trial. You know what I'm saying? And, and that trial may have opened up a whole nother can of worms. But at this point, the toothpaste is already out the tube, man. And the feds were drawn to the insanity anyway. And Diddy appears to be being exposed to criminal charges off all of this. You see what I'm saying? Um, now, now, Cassie gets reportedly, uh, uh, it's being stated that she um, reportedly received $50 million in the settlement. Right? That's the number I hear. And, and bruh is looking like he's going to be needing to change his name from Brother Love sooner rather than later okay um let me see how much time do i got here okay look, look, look. let me let me let me give you let me see how much time i got here because you know now, now i gotta really <laughs> now i gotta really uh all right look, 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 look. let me give you this one real quick man um stevie j we don't told you we don't tell you before that stevie j said he won all the smoke with 50 cent but bro got much bigger things to worry about namely the diddler getting roped up and dropping dime and adding his name to the list of offenders that you know the feds gonna be looking for. Stevie J states that he wants to throw hands with 50 Cent, but for charity. <laughs> now look, nine times out of ten, man, when celebrities are boxing, it's 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 over. It's like it's over over for them. You know what I mean? So Fifth ain't doing all of that. Take a listen to what Fifth had to say in response to Stevie J's want wanting to box him. Take a listen to what Fiddy had to say. <laughs> Tough step to me, son. <laughs> if I ain't with it. That's <laughs> <laughs> all you gotta do. That's all I gotta do. Somebody wanna fight me with my s**t. Somebody wanna fight me with my s**t. Come on. 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 I hope you get past the security. I hope you get past the security. <laughs> You heard all those laughs, all those laughs, man. You know, that them ain't he's funny laughs. You know that, right? Anyway, um, uh, listen, listen, Cats is over 40 at this time. What a 40 plus year old look like rolling around on the ground with another adult fighting. You know what I'm saying? Unless you're a boxer. You know what I mean? Like fighting with another grown man, you look ridiculous, okay? At that stage, you want to get, you want to get physical, you're getting clapped. You know what I mean? No, no diddle. Okay, look, you you might could do something permanent. Yeah, you follow what I'm saying? So we might have to do something permanent because I was in fear for my life. But if 50 did shoot hands with Stevie J, wasn't wasn't fifth like a boxer or something like that? Didn't they throw a chair at bro while he was on stage and he caught it? You follow what I'm saying, man? Now, um, look, fifth got hit nine times with bullets to the body. Yeah, and the head. Okay, bro was shot in the hand. He was shot in the arm. He was shot in the hip, both legs, the chest, and he was shot in the head. And you want to fight him? <laughs> uh, I mean, Stevie J just don't, he don't, I guess like some people just can't see it, man. They don't see it, okay? Now, um, if you thought challenging 50 Cent to a duel, well, let me do it like this. And finally, with uh, Stevie J wanting to challenge 50 Cent to a daggone duel, man. Look, 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 look. <laughs> See, look, if you thought challenging 50 Cent to a duel was cringy <laughs> for Stevie J, Stevie is like, man, you think that's cringy? Oh, my diddle. Listen, I got a cringier move. <laughs> this, this, look, listen. Stevie J went and posted what a diddy party looks like. For all of y'all that want to know what it's like to party with the diddler, Take a look at what Stevie J posted, how a Diddy party looks. Take a look.
slick. Boosie was like, where did he friends at? Stevie J was like, I'm his friend. Then he glazed super hard while dry snitching on everybody in attendance. And the feds are gathered in a corner somewhere talking about, I'm putting cases on, I'm putting cases on all these itches. Look, Stevie, them ain't the parties everybody's concerned about, bruh. You know what I'm saying? But you go ahead and show all the people that the feds could now consider. Okay? Bro is, look, bro is spinning the wheel on everybody that he done threw under the bus. Look, I do that in GTA. Is it me? When, when you see Stevie J posting a picture of what a Diddy party look like, what that give you the sense of, man? It, like, I get the sense of it's dry snitching. You see what I'm saying? I feel like it's, he was dry snitching with that. But I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm looking for something. Okay? Did you get the same sense? Did I, I Like, I hope my suggestion of that didn't throw that out to you. But why would he post that? You know what I'm saying? And that, now I bet, like, all, like, imagine if you was one of those celebrities in stevie j's video wouldn't you feel like yo what the hell he threw that out here for putting my face on a joint like if they uh, like <laughs> that's almost like doing the feds job right if the feds want to know who's at the what a diddy party look like then stevie j you just kind of helped identify all the people that show up to the party and could potentially be at an after party man <laughs> you know what i'm saying i don't know man these people are so weird all these people are so weird to me aren't you glad you just regular <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm so glad I'm regular, bro. You know what? These celebrities are regular, too. Don't, don't get it twisted. They super regular. Problem is that when you really regular and then you get a lot of money, you do weird stuff. You know what I'm saying? You, you start turning weird. It's like you either regular or you weird as hell. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, man. All, all it takes is a little money for you to go weird. You know that, right? I know a lot of y'all want to be rich, but um, getting a lot of money turn you weird. Don't, don't, don't get it twisted, man. Don't be fooled. You know what I'm saying? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, man. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source of celeb news.